All right. Some old boards. This one, this Pizel is a nice, this was a really good board. This one is a 70s original Tim Ferriss. And I like this one, but it's kind of getting old, but it's got the glass tan fins. This is the Blue Eyed Sun board. This is another great board that I was not supposed to ride, that this was just supposed to be used for promotional purposes. And when I got it, I was like, fuck that. I'm fucking riding this thing. So this is Jack, also known as Jackson Brown. And this is Woody, also known as Woody Guthrie. Blue Eyed Sun stuff is just like acoustic guitar. I do a lot of writing here. It's a little bumpy. Let me, uh, I'll try writing. Oh, what a day. Every day, I walk along here with the dogs. I walk them around the perimeter, and then we walk up to the beach and we check the surf. Drew and I have known each other for quite some time since I moved out here. You know, we've often played the same bills and, and have a lot of friends in common. I often said to him, you know, what his next plan was with the next record, and he commented one night that he really enjoyed the aesthetic that I was getting on my records, which is pretty much the way we did this live, everyone in, in you know, one room or thereabouts. And so I offered at that point, I was like, well, if you want a hand, I'm happy to introduce you to some people and just, you know, help you get this thing together. So. One thing led to another, and it was a really nice kind of organic evolution, and we just uh, ended up jumping in the studio together. I gave him like maybe 15 songs or 20 songs, maybe even more, maybe 25 songs, thinking that he was gonna come back to me with the best 15 or 12. We'd go record them, and then we'd sort out an album out of the 15 or 12, right? And then he came back and he said, I won't only wanna do an EP. We discussed doing an album, and I just knew I just know how long that takes and I wanted him to just get back out there with some new material and just get the, the motion going again. You know, I chose these five songs specifically because I heard something unique with each one of them. This whole piece of, of work was a collaborative process that I couldn't have done without him at all. And while we were doing that, I went over to Sean Sullivan's house. Do you know Sean? I first started playing with Drew. We went over to Japan for the Summer Sonic Festival just as a, a two-piece that was on his uh, first record, West of Lincoln. So for this last record, his uh, five song EP, I played some guitar, some keyboards, um, a little bit of cello. I think my favorite track, the end of Fighting a War. I love the guitars, like all the different guitars, but I love what Sean did. He did an amazing job. It makes the song swell and it, it gives it so much character. All Went Black is, is kind of a favorite, and that's why I think it's kind of the, the first track on the EP. Uh, it's just so strong, and just, you know, you get, you get the foot stomping, and with that horn section, it's kind of magic. Matt had this idea that we should get Danny Levin, this guy, this guy who plays trumpet for him, that we should get him to play trumpet. He changed the entire dynamic of the song. It's one of those things where a guy comes in, he lays down a part that just ends up being brilliant, and he took over. Life in the big city. <laughs> Here's how the Blue Eyed Sh Sun show ends. My, my guitar, my amp, it's locked in. I guess I'll be playing here tomorrow night. And that's always been the idea. Like, let's get the EP out, um, get him back out there touring and promoting some new product, new music. And then we'll re revisit and see what, what he wants to do next. And um, I'd be happy to work with him again. A, he's a great friend and great artist. I'm really proud of what we got to do together on this one. I'm already like thinking about doing a full album after the CP and kind of getting my momentum going again. <laughs>